minute dogs. Look at that. Man, I had four dozen minnows in here. Thought I was doing all the good. Took them home, left them in the aerated live well and this angle box and dad dumb things. All died because the air hose got kinked up. Drag my kayak down to the water, I said. It'll be easy. Easier than paddling from the boat ramp. I'll come. I always make the bad choice. I get poison ivy. Somebody is in trouble. I don't know who. Somebody. Maybe kid crop. Somebody like that. Between the cold front we got in February, this rain that we've been getting for three weeks, I think it set everything back. Look, dried minnow. We got this rock riprap in front of us. When we find rock riprap, what we want to determine is, is this a dead end to the water? Or is there watershed on the other side of this highway? Well, in this case, there's watershed over there. Well, that means is there's some kind of a culvert going under this road so that that watershed can get into the lake. In this instance, because I've been here before, I know that that watershed, it actually is a deep watershed a culvert and it's in about 12 to 14 foot of water so it doesn't come out right at the rocks it comes out a good 50 foot to 75 foot in front of this rock riprap another thing I know from experience out here is it doesn't sit parallel to the highway it sits at about a 30 to 40 degree angle it's easier to bring live bait down here and then maybe try to use a little bit of uh, side scan or or down scan and try to find that concrete that's down here so that's what we're gonna do and guys I hope you enjoy the point of view it's the only one we're gonna have today I wanted to switch it up and what I'm gonna do this time is I've got a marker buoy we're gonna toss that out when we find it we're gonna see if we can find it and then toss this out and you can see it right here if you're looking you can see that it's not straight it's it's at an angle so let's do this let's back up Let's do clear view down scan. See if we can see it. Look at that hole. That's a deep hole. There we go. Something else just popped it. There we go. Fish on. Whoa, crap. What is that? That is not a crappie. <laughs> that ain't no crappie. I guarantee you that ain't a crappie. That'd be a world record crappie right there. That ain't no crappie. Oh! Oh. Let's see what that even is. Oh, big old blue cat. Good lord, that's a fat cat. That's a big one. That catfish is huge. Freaking A! He's mad! Second win. He landed his Matt Crappie rod strong. That catfish is ticked. Mac, I'm putting your rod to, to the test right here, buddy. The fish got this rod to its capacity, I think. Go. It looks like a shark. <laughs> Those little blue cats look like sharks. Oh my goodness, this thing's huge. I don't know why he rolled up on me at first like he was shocked or something. And he let me look at him and almost get a fish grip in him and then he took off. I like to keep these clips short. I may cut out some of this wrestling here, but this is pretty cool to watch. I mean, he's, he's tearing his rod up. Estimated him, guys. He's probably 15 pounds. What y'all think? Big old massive mastodon looking blue cat. Look like a shark. What's up, buddy? Oh, quick fight. I know, he's mad. 
I got him peeing. He's mad. Look at that. Big old sucker. Uh, Alright, let's unhook him. Get him in the Alright, let's let him go. Y'all wanna watch him swim away? go easy so he doesn't know he's free for a second god he's biting down on the, biting down on the fish boy. boom he's gone he wasted no time my line's pretty tight on my spool because of the catfish pulling so hard there we go fish got something got a little something there we go. A little old crappie. That's a keeper. Boom. What y'all think? That's a keeper. I knew there was some down there. I could see them. Now, y'all know me. I don't keep keepers, not no tens, if I don't have to help it. We just left out and go. I feel weight. There's something on there. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice crappie. See? Ah. <laughs> About time. Now we know there's some down there. That one's a nice one. Yes, sir. All right. Ah, uh, y'all, ha, ha, y'all gave y'all selves up. Gave themselves up. That, that fish ain't giant. That fish ain't giant. He's a, let's see, here's my, here's my measure right here. He is 12 inches. So, Got it. Got a twelve. We can do a twelve. So I'm on it right here. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Is that a crappie? Oh yeah. Nice crappie. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! I love crappie fishing with minnows, man. Minnows do all the hard work. All the hard work. Look at that. Wham, guys. That's a dog. That's a dog. Let's see what he go. 12 inches. Just like that last one. There's a gar. Better not be after my crappie. Get away from my old stringer. Put this crappie on this stringer. Get his number two. That one fought hard, man. I would have thought he was a little bit bigger coming up. I mean, 12's not small, but he was, he was getting after it. There we go. Already got one on. Got him. Hooked him. Make sure we got a hook on him. Oh, yeah. Another keeper. Boom. Yeah. Uh, third stringer fish, guys, right there. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Yes, sir. I'll take that. So get him on the board. Make sure he's legal. 11 inches. Take 11. Today I'll take 11. Today's a tougher day. We're not fishing timber or big brush piles or out deep on the bridges or none of that. We're fishing right up on a riprap. Last week of May, after these fish should have moved out of here by now. As soon as I reel off bottom, if I get in front of that culvert, as soon as I reel up. There, see I've already got one. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Now see that one hit. He's gonna come out of the water right by you. That one hit a lot more like a white bass. It is a crappie, but it hit more like a white bass. He had that, I think it's that just his adolescent energy, you know? He come up, he hit it, and he thumped it, thump, like thumped it hard, and then as he was swimming away, it was like a thump, 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 real hard thump, thump, thump. As they run. And that's the way the white bass feel. White bass hit it and go. Got her. She sat on it, but she held it long enough. That one feels like a decent fish right there. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one of the day by a long shot. That's the biggest one by a long shot. That's a dog. Look at that one. Boom. That's a hammer. 
I always say him. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if I could just get in the right spot, you know? Those fish would be sitting there. Just the way these big things do. The big ones sit in certain spots, you know? These big pretty ones sit in certain spots. I'll try that. Now I can measure her. Let's put her on the board, guys. Put her on the board. She is... 13 three quarter. 13 three quarter. Almost a 14 fish right there, guys. Almost. She barely missed it. But I'll take it. Woo! Chili. Chili water. I don't know if it's big enough to keep. I don't think it is. There's another drum. Another drum. What's Richard Jean call these music makers? Drums like, uh, these are good to eat, guys, honestly. But uh, they're harder to clean. Got him. All right. That wasn't bad, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Look at that one, that one's blacked up too. A little bit of spawning left in this guy. A little bit of spawn time left in this one. Pretty fish. Look at that. Pretty fish. A little dark. Probably just coming out of that backwater. All spawning. One more for, for dinner. And I might catch one or two just in case anybody wants a little bit more than their portion size. What is that? Oh, a nice one. And I got my buoy. I got my buoy mixed up with that one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I got my booty mixed up. There we go. Look at that. Wham! Pretty, pretty crappie. Nice one. Woo! Alright. So we did find the spot, guys. Did find the spot. But now I just caught my buoy all up in it. I'm gonna reel up this uh, buoy and pack it up and call it a day. I'm sunburned like a lobster, what they say. So it's time to go. Let me go home and get some aloe vera on this sunburn and clean these fishes and get ready for everybody to come home, cook dinner, and have a relaxing evening.